Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Last week I spent $1,100 at Stumac on new guitar tools. They just arrived. Now we're going to open them up and find out what $1,100 gets you from Stumac. All right, so it came in two boxes. The first one here, the first item I pulled out was this buffing uh, pad for a drill. So you just stick this end into your drill. And I saw Dan Earlywine using it on one of his rebuild projects. And I figure anything he's using, I need to try out at least. They're not cheap. I think this was $17. And what I've been using for a long time is these cheaper pads that I get from Amazon. You get them, I think they're like $20 for $10 or something like that. I'll have the link down in the description to both of these products. But I tested this thing out for a couple minutes and it seems to buff out a lot better than these cheap ones. So the price is way higher. They sell a three pack with different shapes and it's like almost $50. I'm, you know, I want to get the other ones too, but for 50 bucks for three pads, that's kind of expensive. You'll see also why I don't want to invest too much into drill mounted pads right now in a minute. So first item, pretty cool. Check this thing out. This thing is really cool. So this is an 18 inch fret leveling straight edge. It's all precision. And what's really cool about this is it's made in this I beam shape or T handle shape. Um, and you put one inch sandpaper on the bottom of this. This will let you level your frets without taking your strings off, which is a huge time saver if you're going to be doing fret leveling and crowning, because usually you have to take your strings off. You have to straighten out the neck with the truss rod, you know, sand it all level. Then you put it back together and you'll sometimes find after you crown it, all that stuff, you put it back together and then you'll sometimes find there's some other high frets. So this will actually let you work on the frets under string tension. So exactly how the string tension affects the, the, the bow of the neck is how this is going to level them out. So this is just so cool under string. You can do it while the strings are on and get the, the real level for the frets. That is so cool. Next up, we have a new fret file. So I've been using the standard older Stumac fret file. I bought it probably 12 years ago or something and it's pretty good, but it's not great. And I've been doing a lot more fret work lately and wanting to get better at it. And I think that tool might've been holding me back a little bit. So obviously I have a new way to level the frets to start. That's going to be really awesome to try out. And then we have this tool that doesn't seem to want to come out of its pouch. There it is. The Stumac Z file. I got the centered version. They make a few different models of this. And what's really cool is the teeth of the file are actually they're at a notch instead of being round so that they fit around a fret. These ones are notched, so the center can't grind on the fret. And also they have diamond inside. So they file way differently and way better in mo both directions. The, the other one is the teeth are in a way that they only file one direction. And this is just supposed to last so much longer and it's supposed to just give you a way better shape for crowning. So I cannot wait to try this thing out. The centered Z file. That is cool. And then this here is an understring dress file. So if you do some precision work while you're working on frets, this has a 20 degree edge and it's again, it's diamond uh, on the end. So it can grind down frets very smoothly, very easily. And yeah, really cool little, just lets you get in there at an angle right under the strings, do some filing. Awesome. And then when you're leveling your frets and crowning them, what, like I said, sometimes you'll put the strings back on or you'll go, to test everything out and you still have little, you might have a, a little vibration. You might have a little buzz here or there. This tool is really cool. And I already have the standard fret rocker. This fret rocker actually has again, diamond sanding areas here. So diamond grit. So this here is the original fret rocker that I had. And this one's awesome. You can lay it across any three frets. It's got different edges. So it'll fit anywhere on the fretboard across three frets. And if it rocks, you know, the middle fret is obviously high. So you move it down the fretboard, checking if it's like, you know, you could check like three, I usually like to check three or four spots or kind of slide it across the frets because you'll find different highs and lows across, you know, maybe the G and the B and the E will be high, but the A and the D and the low E might be okay. So you want to check it across the fretboard up and down the strings and then go down to the edge of the fretboard. And this is really cool because it's really easy to find a high fret with this. Well, now this is even cooler because once you find your high fret with this, 
Then you can lay this on, which has diamond filing spots, and you can lay that on your same spot and file it till it stops rocking. Once it's level, it's gonna stop filing, and that is just a huge time saver. Normally, you'll go down, the, like I said, the fretboard with this. You'll find your spots that are a little high. You'll mark them with a Sharpie marker, and then you have to file them down, double check them with this. Usually, you, if you're, you're careful, you won't file too low, but this is just going to save a bunch of time and prevent you from ever filing too low. So, got some really cool new fretting stuff. All right, here we got three different types of compounds for a buffing wheel setup. We have medium, fine, and extra fine, which, of course, this is the most coarse. You would use this one first, then this fine one, then the extra fine to get a super awesome buffed out mirror finish. And you might be wondering, why would I buy these if I don't have a wheel yet, a buffing wheel? Well, you don't get to $1,100 just buying a couple hand tools. So let's get to the rest of this stuff in here. Here is a 14 inch, it says Canton buffing wheel. I don't know if that's a typo for cotton or not, but... Well, it's definitely not a typo. You could see here on Stumac's website, Canton and Dome are the two types of material that they offer their buffing wheels in. It says a versatile buffer setup uses Canton wheels on one side for medium compound and Dome on the other side for the finer compounds. There's two of them in here, so these will get clamped together and then thrown on some type of buffer. We'll see what happens here. I actually got four wheels, so we'll have two on each side of the buffer. So we got four 14 inch cotton wheels. This right here is how you set up the wheels. So once you set the wheels up on your buffer, you use this, it's called a rake, and it combs them so that they're not gonna have any snags, anything that's gonna stick out, and it gets the two wheels kind of trued to each other. So, you know, they, they work like one big wheel. So that's the tool to kind of set all that up. Oh, it's got some nasty teeth, man. If anyone busts into the shop, I should keep this one around. All right, then we got a heavier box inside here. That's a heavy boy. All right, and here we have a killer gigantic motor. So Stumac sells these awesome buffers with or without the motor. You can get them in 230 or 120 power. And we went with the with motor model. So if you haven't figured it out yet, we got the Stumac, the big deluxe badass 120 volt buffer. I've been wanting one of these for so long and I'm looking at my schedule of what guitars I have coming up and how much time am I going to be spending buffing out 20 or 30 electric guitars with high gloss mirror finishes. Doing it with the drill attachment, like in the, with the little pad that I showed you earlier, those are cool, but when you're doing this many guitars, you got to step it up a little bit. Obviously, if you're doing it for customers and you're make, making some money on this stuff, you got to set up, aside a little bit of money from every job, create a savings account, and buy things like this every once in a while. It's going to make you more efficient because as a business, it's not efficient to do it with the drill. In the beginning, it makes a ton of sense to, to do it with the drill because it's a lot more cost effective, but it's going to take a lot of time. And in the beginning, that's the thing that you have is you have a lot of time. Once you start to build up a lot of customers, you got to step up your game, but also save time. So how do you do that? Invest in high end tools like, like this. I searched everywhere to see on eBay, to see if there's a way to make one of these easily. And it doesn't seem like there's a cost effective way to make a setup like this. I've seen there are people like Chris at Highline Guitars, who is awesome. And he has a lot of great videos on working on guitars. You sh should check him out. But he built his own jig or bu built his own rig or whatever. And he has all the plans you can buy and everything. But when you start adding up the cost of all this stuff, he still spent four or $500 on this system. And I figured if I'm gonna spend that much, I don't wanna be figuring out pulleys and math on my own. And I just wanna buy something that's ready to go, that's super high end, that I'm not gonna be worrying about, that's not gonna give me any problems down the road that's built for guitars. And that's what you get with Stumac stuff. There's the big motor right there. Let's crack open the second box here. And I think this is gonna be like the shafts that go um, coming out of the main unit and the pulley and whatever else hooks up to this thing. Yeah, I searched around eBay, I searched everywhere trying to see if somebody makes a version of this that I could buy and modify or if anybody had any instruction, you know, instructions on how to modify like a Harbor Freight one to put longer shafts on it. And I didn't want to mess with any of that stuff in the end. I just want to, I want something reliable that's going to last me maybe my entire life. 
a lot of the, the tools I bought 12 years ago, the original, I spent like a thousand dollars at, 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 uh, Stu Mac on a bunch of stuff like a decade ago or so. And I have all of it still and it all works great still. So since then I've probably bought another thousand dollars of tools over the years and now probably my third or fourth thousand here. But I am getting to the point where I have almost every single thing I want from them now. Okay, so after actually reading what I bought here, two of the pads are Canton and two of the pads are Dome. I I don't know these uh, materials, but I better learn what they are and figure out how to reorder them when it's time. I've seen Stumac on some of their videos. They have three buffing wheels on each side, so I might end up buying another buffing wheel for each and it looks like I have three compounds here so I'm probably gonna have to get a third set of wheels here because you don't want to mix your compounds on your wheels you want to have separate polishing wheels for each compound so you don't cross contaminate so here it all is we got the big deluxe 36 inch wide Stumac buffer we got the motor that goes with it the 120 volt so I can plug it right into my wall here we got the cover that goes across the belt right here so the belt will connect to the motor then we got the three medium fine and extra fine polishing compounds the rake so I can get those wheels nice and shrewd two different materials when they're next to each other you could see they're two different materials one's a little more white than the other then of course we got the polishing pad we got the Z file we got the fret rocker with cutting and, and filing capabilities and we got the understring file then we got the deluxe understring leveling bar man what a great what a great addition to my tools this is going to make a huge difference in my finishes and my frets so thanks so much for watching guys let me know in the comments what tools you guys are looking for to add to your collection i am going to be doing a tool giveaway at some point so I want to know what tools you guys want. I actually am going to have a couple extra tools I don't need anymore pretty soon. So maybe I'll give away some of the tools I've used that are in excellent condition. They're Stumac. They're great stuff. So let me know in the comments what tools you guys would love to add to your collection. I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on, my friends.